Hello friends as a working professional you know what is the importance of this control chart statistical process control is very very important not only to monitor but also to improve your processes significantly and here i am going to tell you about the one perfect and complete course on this statistical process control i have created this complete course on the statistical process control that not only help you to understand all the concepts in statistical process control but also how to deploy these concepts in real life This complete course on the statistical process control consists of seven parts. The first part is about the history and all concepts in control chart. This is very very important to start the learning of control chart. The second part is about tempering of process and Nelson rules. This is very very important to understand why we are doing the frequent adjustment in our processes and if we are doing the adjustment in our processes when the process is in control what is going to happen with that process? To understand that in easiest way, I have explained this Deming funnel experiment with the four rules in it. I have also explained eight Nelson rules, which are very very important to understand the presence of special cause in our processes. So we need to take the actions only if there is a presence of special cause in your processes. Of course, we also need to improve the control processes when it is not meeting the customer expectations. But in regular interval of time. we need to control our processes with the help of this nelson rules the third part is about the selection of correct test for special causes as we had seen there are eight tests for special causes and we need to select the appropriate test for identification of the special causes if you are using the more test for special causes then the number of false signals in our processes are going to be increased for the continuous data we are going to understand how to set the control limits how to monitor your control chart as well as when to select the other test for special causes similarly we are going to understand in case of attribute data how to set the control limits how we can monitor our control chart and how we can select the other test for special causes in case of attribute data after understanding entire basics of the control chart in part 4 we are going to understand what are the different types of control chart and how to select the correct control chart type based on your data based on the application we are having the multiple types of control chart for continuous data we are having three main control charts individual moving range chart x bar r chart x bar y chart for the attribute data we are having two main charts p chart and u chart whereas we are also having the additional control chart when you want to detect the small shift in your processes and these are moving average control chart Gaussian chart as well as EWMA chart. We are going to understand all these control charts with the help of practical example in Minitab, Excel, as well as Sigma Excel. The part five is about systematic approach in learning of each control chart, and we are following six step approach in learning of each of these control chart. The first step, we are going to understand what is that particular control chart. The second, when to use that particular control chart. what are the different data considerations before performing that control chart detail procedure to draw that control chart in excel sigma excel as well as in minitab we are going to understand each of this control chart with the help of practical example and at the last of it we are also going to understand how to interpret the results and what course of action that we need to take so this is very very important not only to understand the control chart theoretically but also practically part 6 is very very important from the practical application of this control charts because i am also providing the entire data files to practice all the control chart as well as hand holding support in actual application of this control charts this consists of all the data files for practice of all the control chart and you are also supported by weekly inner circle call as well as telegram community that means if you are having any problem whether that is theoretical problem or practical problem related to the statistical process control you are just one message away from me and the last part of this course you will get the lifetime access with all future free upgrades so you see this is the best course in statistical process control if you want to learn it theoretically as well as practically still due to any reason if you don't like this course you are covered with a 30 days money back guarantee yes you are right if you don't like this course i will give you your entire money back so stop thinking and enroll for this course now and take that first step for your successful career goal thank you for watching